Good morning, this is B.A. Shepard, Mr. Idea Man, and this is the Winner's Locker Room. You know what, I want to talk to you today, but I received a message from a friend of mine who had, um, you know, she pretty much had a gentleman uh, uh, telling her about her ministry and how her ministry was irrelevant and how her ministry was a ministry of evil and opened up the doors to evilness because it related to dance and everything like that. And, and you know what, it, it's amazing to me how the people that should be encouraging you are oftentimes people that can discourage you. People that could be uh, actually supporting you for, for trying to make an impact or people that are turning you away or, or putting you down for making an impact. And, and, and as, I, as I, I sat and I, I, I read her comments and what the person had said to her, it really frustrated me. And this is coming on the heels of actually some things being said to me yesterday where a person told me, you know what, you're, tra you're chasing pipe dreams. They, they told me that my dreams were pipe dreams, and that uh, you know I should pretty much give up on what I'm what I'm dreaming about, and, and, and you know just pretty much go clock in for somebody, and and, and just pretty much work for somebody else, uh, making a few dollars here and there. But I thought about how in the Bible, Samson Samson found the jawbone of an ass, and he whooped a lot of people's behind. It says in in, in Judges chapter fifteen verse sixteen. That with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with 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 the ass the ass's jawbone, he slain a thousand men. And I thought about how, you know what, that jawbone, that jawbone of a person, can speak life or death into your life, and 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 their ignorance, one way or another, can, it can really impact you. So the power of life and death is in the tongue, and that jawbone that jawbone gets that mouth going. And somebody can be speaking death over you, and you got you have a couple options. You can either sit there and embrace that and pretty much know that you're gonna die, or you can refuse that. You can take those comments and whoop a little butt with it. You know, you can take those comments and use them to charge you up and move move you forward into what has been destined and ordained for you. You don't have to settle for uh, settle for, for partnering with those 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 words of death. Because guess what? A whole lot of stuff has seemed stupid. A whole lot of things have seemed unnecessary. But guess what? In this time, for this season, for this hour in life, you have been sent. You have been destined for this time. You, know, you think about how the internet, the internet wasn't given 2000 BC. You, know, you, you think about chairs. You think about automobiles. Everything has a time and a place. And, and what I want you to know is that the thing that's inside of you, the thing that you're wrestling with, the thing that somebody's trying to break you uh, from, that's the very thing that's meant for this time. You know what? I'm, I'm tired of, of, of dealing with people that are, are so willing to put you down, but they're not willing to help you uh, take a step forward. I'm tired of people that don't realize who you are trying to tell you who you are. They've never seen you. You know what? The world has never seen you. So how possibly can they tell you what you're destined to be when they've never seen you? You've never existed before this time. Settle it in your heart. You're meant for something great. Settle it in your mind that what's inside of you is, is meant for this time. If you somehow waver to the left or to the right in indecision and what's inside of you doesn't come out, you have robbed the world of your gift. Take that jawbone of an ass just like Samson did and start to swing it in your favor. Don't let it be. Don't let that jawbone be the thing that breaks you down. Because guess what we know about a donkey? Guess what we know about a jackass? You know what? It can trample you, or you can ride it to, into a victorious place in life. That same donkey that could trample you, that same jackass that could run over you, can be the very thing that you ride into victory. This is the winner's locker room, and as long as winning is an option, losing is a stupid one. You know what? I love you. See you tomorrow.